Welcome to this little demonstration video where I want to show especially new users of the Yola C or Intex Aquafish six nice tips to getting started with Safefish OS on the Yola C or Intex Aquafish. First of all, get the basics of swiping. So swiping up, swiping down, swiping left, swiping right. It's very, very easy if you just take your time to learn the basic swiping technologies. So first of all, let's lock the device, unlocking for unlocking device, double tap, swipe from left or right to unlock and you are on your multitasking view. You can see a little indicator if you have no applications running that tells me that there is something hidden in there. What you can do is swipe from the bottom and bring up the application launcher. I can do this from every from every application basically. If I don't have a an, 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 uh, pin set or an, uh, a password set for, for the lock screen so I don't have it locked, I can even swipe from the lock screen up and you can see I have uh, my app launcher here and can start launching applications. Just like for example the note, notes application, I can type in then a note. Um, uh, just mistype something. I think this is now way better. What I can do now is uh, just go back to the home screen by either swiping from the edge, right or left. And I can also peek. So if I don't let go, this is a peek and I go back to the edge. You can see I'm back to the application, which is pretty nice if you have multitasking video and something else is updating or something. I want to see what the new notification or something like this, like this is. I can do this peek option and go back to my application. Or I can let go and now I'm in, in my multitasking view. And of course I can start applications again with swiping from up. But also if I'm in an application I can swipe from the bottom and bring my app launcher here and start some other applications just like for example the media application. So this is one very basic step that you have to learn. Another one is if I'm in an application on a, on, a, on one specific uh, page of an application. You can see this is a dot here. Uh, this indicates that I can go back. And how do I go back? I have no back button in here. I can either try to press the dot, but on a five-inch uh, phone, it's not so easy if you have small hands. Uh, I have big hands, I think. <laughs> I hope. Uh, but still, I have hard times reaching this dot. What you can do is sim simply swipe back from here, as you can see. Very easy. I don't swipe from the edge, but inside the screen to go back one page. I can do the same for going forward one page. Or if I have an cancel and accept button, I can either press them or swipe to cancel or accept something which is pretty nice. Oh, my battery is running low, so I have to make it a little faster. Point two, use the potential of multitasking. So if you have more applications open, just don't go to your home screen, swipe them up. You can, from the application itself, go and swipe up. So use this potential for multitasking. Use another multitasking potential. If I'm playing back something like this here, a little bit, a little bit uh, volume down or mute, so that don't go, get blocked in on YouTube. You can see that if I have here a few buttons, I can click here to pause, play, go to the next song, pause, play. Nice. Uh, the same goes for the notes application. Click a new note by clicking here, and this creates a new note. Mm, pretty nice uh, thing to do. Uh, the other thing is, um, of course, I have the option to just play pause on the lock screen. If I'm on the lock screen, you can see I have uh, the song information. I can play pause, go to the next song or to the previous song, just like I wanted to, which is pretty nice. And uh, all those applications should at least have one of those actions. Some don't provide any action, but most of them provide an action, just like, for example, let me see if I find it, the screenshot application. Um, bum, 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 where is it? I had it open for a few seconds ago. 
screenshot application, where did you hide? Maybe under utilities. Uh, let's see it. Uh, that's the problem if you have too much applications installed, you don't see what you're searching for. They are, of course, applications that allow, here's a screenshot application, that allow you to search all the applications, or you just better order them, just like I did with, with folders here, or try to do it with folders, but still. A uh, screenshot application, uh, which has an, a timer that you can set, five seconds is, I think, the default, it will save, just like it, it states here, to the screenshots folder under pictures and you have this little button here which starts the time and come back in my and you get a nice little uh, nice little um, sound that indicates that it took a screenshot so and then you can of course share or delete this uh, open this up with the gallery app share if you have accounts installed uh, which is a nice another thing to do uh, setting up accounts let me switch to my larger device my tablet in this case where I don't have any accounts set up uh, but also running safe 2.0 and let me go to settings and show you that you can under accounts set up a new account um, let me go up a little bit so you can see this uh, of course, it's in, Eng in in German, not in English, but I think you get it. Uh, set up a new account, Dropbox, Facebook, Frooks, Google, Memento, uh, OneDrive, Twitter, XMPP, Yahoo, Kaldav and Kartav. I, for example, set up Kaldav and Kartav for um, synchronizing my next cloud or own cloud. Uh, server, contacts and calendar. You can do this for Google as well as for others. Here, if you want to, Dropbox and uh, OneDrive are important if you want to upload some stuff. You cannot download those currently, there's no option for this, I think. But you have the option to see them in, uh, see them in, in the gallery app, uh, your, your pictures or video files. I'm not sure if you are able to download them. Ah. But you can set them up and see them which is uh, pretty nice. Of course, email, if you click on email, you have the option to just uh, enter an email address and your password and it tries to figure out um, uh, the uh, settings uh, for the email server itself. Otherwise, you can, of course, manually directly uh, go in here and set up the IMAP4 uh, server just lie and, and the secure connection, SSL, TLS, something like this. And here you can see, by the way, the uh, board and apply or uh, continue um, uh, dialogue where, where I can go back here and abort or apply. In this case, I cannot apply because I did not enter the sufficient information. But go to abort, you can see very easy on, on a seven inch tablet. It makes a lot of sense, of course. So that's this. Now go back to my phone and uh, go out of here. Go to the next tip, set your own quick shortcuts and quick toggles. I think this should be point three. So if I go to my notification uh, uh, event screen, basically I have my tweets here, which uh, get refreshed every time I watch them, or I think regularly they get refreshed. I have my notifications here. In this case, you can see I have an update of Hunger Meter, which is a nice application in the store. You can get it for watching your battery. And um, my temperature stuff here, uh, the date of course, but also I have a little indicator for a swipe down menu, the pulley menu basically. I can swipe down and have my toggles here. I have some toggles set up already. Airplane, Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth, torch, uh, lock, uh, orientation lock, GPS and an Android uh, screenshot. Uh, uh, Android uh, link, an Android uh, hotkey, an Android quick toggle, basically shortcut. This is the word I was searching for, shortcut. And if I click on this, for example, it will directly take me to the settings of uh, my Android uh, support. And uh, yeah, I can quickly also, also by the way, I have um, uh, other shortcuts here, short actions, basically, internet connection, take a selfie, where are, where am I? Internet, uh, search something on the internet, create a new node, create an al alarm, set up an alarm. 
I can click on configure here, go to the settings, have the option to uh, select my quick toggles. Uh, basically I can, for example, go in here, you can see I have a long list of everything basically that I can quick toggle on and off and can uh, quick toggle off the Android support, the Android uh, quick toggle. And if I go back to here you can see the Android logo disappeared so my quick toggle is uh, gone. If I don't like those quick actions I can also configure them in the settings and turn them off if I don't like them. And of course I can also turn off the weather information or calendar information if I don't want any uh, notifications about events or something like this. Yeah, this is basically tip and uh, tip 4 was setting up the accounts I already showed you this so let me go to tip 5 get more apps uh, which is uh, of course very interesting for people who are new to the platform you can get to the Joy Yola store where you can get new apps and here you have apps divided in new apps which is a list of freshly available apps and the best apps and if you go to the best apps, you can see a list of really very highly downloaded apps, just like, for example, File Browser, which I can recommend to install if you want to have a normal File Browser. Aptoid App Store, which is another Aptoid, uh, is an Android app store, so you can download Android applications, which is nice. If you download this Aptoid App Store, it will automatically uh, activate a repository and, and, and a software source where all the compatible Yola C or Index Aquafish or Safe Shares compatible uh, Android apps are stored. So you can then uh, go into Aptoid App Store to install Android applications, so for example, games or something like this. But you have other applications here, GT Player, which is a YouTube player, Safe Utilities, which is nice if you have to debug your uh, device or restart uh, uh, the home screen alone uh, without restarting uh, the whole device, something like this. Code Reader, which is a uh, QR code reader. Uh, calculator, so Tweetian, which is a Twitter client I use very frequently. If you want an app from me, you can download WebCat, and I have some other apps as well. If you go into into one app, you can see screenshots and descriptions and comments. Uh, you can ask me questions in here if something goes wrong, and you can see other applications from me, and you can then see that I have uh, several applications in here that you can try out uh, downloading. This is one store. There's another store, which is an unofficial store that you can install if you go to the website openrepos.net. Uh, so let me show you this website quickly. Hope my internet connection is fast enough to show you this. Openrepos.net. And here you can find an application called Warehouse. To install this, you have to go to settings and activate uh, installing software from untrusted sources. And if you have this activated, you download the RPM, the .rpm file, click uh, in, in, the, in the file manager or in the download manager, you click on it, it will ask you to install it, and you can install it. And if you have installed it, you can see this app. Where do I have it? Where, 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 where? I think the last page, warehouse app, this little app here, and this allows you then to download all the applications from openrepos.net, an unofficial uh, store which has experimental stuff, but also newer stuff, beta stuff as well, but also stuff that didn't get in here. And if you want an app from me, you can, uh, for example, install LL's video player, which is a nice video player uh, that I rec recommend everybody, everybody to install. <laughs> and uh, give feedback on this if you have problems or something like this. So this is um, getting more apps. Tip six, the power of ambiences. So you can see if you swipe down on your home screen, you have this little ambiences, um, basically profiles, which allow you to set the configuration, set the appearance of, the, of your device. Uh, but you can also set the, you can see there's a new one called mute. Uh, which allows you to just mute every sound. So you have the option to configure this thing. It's not only the appearance, but if you go to settings, ambiences, you can see the list, you can see with the star uh, which are the favorite ones which appear in this menu. And you can set them up, just like for example Spring Sun here, click on this, 
uh, have my my color set, have my name set, had, had, uh, have, have my star set, and I have my uh, ringtone volume set. I can select a different ringtone if I want to for calling, for uh, uh, messages, for chat, for email, for calendar events, and for my clock. So you can save uh, different profiles in here for different situations, just like for example if you are um, uh, indoors uh, at home and you, you don't need the ringtone to be uh, on 100% 100%, or 80%, uh, you need it to be a little bit quieter, you can do this here. So this is basically ambiences. This is my last tip. One bonus tip, ask questions, collaborate and evolve. So there are some nice applications. One is called Yola Together, which is a community uh, thingy. You can log in with your uh, Yola account in here and you can ask questions. Uh, it also provides a website. You can also go to together.yola.com where you can ask questions for the Yola Sea, for the Index Aquafish. Uh, people are here to help you. The community is here to help you if you have problems with setting your device up, have problems uh, with application install or searching for a different for a specific application you can ask in here. Uh, you can also search the questions that were already asked. Uh, SafeJS and Yola are available for quite some time already so there are people that uh, know the insights of the operating system that can help you. So ask questions if you need help. So 16 minutes I think this should be short and long enough uh, for everyone to watch and hope you enjoyed this little uh, demonstration. By the way, closing applications with this shortcut is an option under settings. Please have a look. So this was this little uh, demonstration video, this little uh, top six and one bonus tip for starters who started with SafeJS with an Ayola C or Intex Aquafish. Hope you enjoyed this little video and thanks for watching.